guys, welcome back to the Hobby Farm Homestead. Uh, today we got a lot of, lot of stuff we got to get done today. Um, first things first is I got to go down south and get my black pepper plants. Uh, he called me yesterday, told me they were ready, so I'm going to go down and get those. Uh, I also want to get the gardens tilled back up. Um, check the forecast and see if I can get these plants in. I might wait one more week. Uh, also, I got to stop at... Uh, lumber store and get some wood to finish off this last stall in the barn uh, here's my plants now I've been leaving them out well actually this is the first night I've left them out so <clears throat> lost a few over there in that and that was a miracle grow soil and they are doing the worst uh, just to uh, inform you guys you know and this is all jiffy potting soil and these, this soil in here and, and those two over there, the soil out of this uh, raised bed. But anyways, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and go down there and get those plants and I'll show you the plants. I'm not going to show you his facility down there right now. Uh, he's not going to want to want me to film or anything like that. But anyways, <clears throat> I'll show you the plants once I pick them up. And my cabbage and stuff is doing pretty good. You can kind of see them. And then the broccoli, they're doing pretty good. I've lost one or two of them. And those are all Brussels sprouts. They're doing good. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna work in the garden a little bit, and then uh, then we're gonna move into the barn. I don't know if I'll work on a stall on this video. I'll probably make <clears throat> in a whole video for that. But yeah, let's uh, let's get rolling. Catch you guys in a little bit. Today we're uh, driving Old Red here. Um, finally got it back from the shop. We went ahead and had new hubs put in in front because uh, the wheel sensors were going bad. So when you press the brakes, um, the analog brake system would uh, kick on. You know when you started slowing down, and you know you ended up going right through an intersection. So we had to have that fixed. Um, <clears throat> but this is a good old truck, and I mean it's got. 190,000 miles on it, but it's uh, still kicking along. So this is about a if hour drive. Miles, turn right onto US 62 West toward Canton. So we'll go ahead and get uh, get on down there and get uh, these plants. Here they are. I got three flats in here. Another one down over there on the floor. And then there's another one in the back of the truck. So, like I said, these are a heirloom pepper. And 
they come from the seed actually come from Sicily so they're a really good pepper they can't I mean you can buy block pepper plants but they're not even close to the type of pepper that these plants produce with the real thick skin so all right let's head home Okay guys, we're up here at the other barn where Porky is. Uh, we're gonna get ready to feed her. Uh, she's definitely sprouting up, so I'll let you guys check her out and uh, you know, see how she's doing. But I think she's definitely getting bigger. Starting to try to put a little bit of fat on her. We are giving her some cracked corn. You know, so we give her a quarter cup of cracked corn, quarter cup of oats an egg, a yogurt, and a pound and a half of the show feed from uh, Lindner. So Wyatt's going to go ahead and get her fed. Here's the other pigs. Like I said, these are my buddies. They're coming along pretty good. He's a professional at it. I'm not. I'm a beginner. So I don't know all the, all the do's and all the don'ts. But uh, we'll figure it out. It's first time for everything. So hopefully we can get it right the first time, right? Dump it in there, bud. She wants it. Don't push it on her nose. Oh, she almost like it. She lick you? Yeah, gross. Eight All right, another half pound. Right there. That's a little over. Ah, oh, it. <laughs> Make sure it's a half pound. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. That's a little over, but that's all right. Go ahead and do that first. Uh -huh. She got my hands again. She loves this yogurt. Like she I said, it's just a cheap yogurt. She <clears throat> got my hands again. From the local uh, Save a Lot. Aldi's or whatever you want to call it. Make sure you break it up pretty good, bud. What are you doing? I'm gonna throw it down in there. I'm gonna throw it on her head, though. I know what I'm doing. I just gotta get the You're first. You're dripping it on her head. There you go. Okay. You're filming. Mm -hmm. You gotta do trickery with her. What? Do that. Well, she'll want to lick the um the lid. Then just get her on over. Get the pink juice ready, Dad. Ask the pink juice on. This is what we use for uh, some skin conditioning. Just like an oil moisturizer for hair. here uh it's the next day we're up here with porky uh we're gonna go ahead and get her out and get her weighed and see how much she weighs um, the only thing different this week i have done with her is added the cracked corn so let's go ahead and get her out of the cage and see how much she weighs she has sawdust by her eye and, and does she and she keeps moving her head so hold her back okay You gotta get on this side of her, bub. There you go. Put your arms on her. Put your feet on her, or legs, or whatever. 
Don't let her out. Don't cut her on that. Okay. Moving Porky. Eighty-nine six. It's good. Let her off that way before she gets pinned. She's ninety point two. Ninety point two. Wait, actually? Yeah. Okay, so 90.6 or 90.2 pounds, uh, it's almost 10 pounds, uh, two ounces shy of 10 pounds uh, for the week. That's great. I want to keep that average. Um, so we should be on target to be about 120 at the end of May and a little over as long as she keeps gaining the way she's gaining. So that's all we wanted to do. We really didn't want to work her and then put her back in there and feed her. I just wanted to get her weighed. So we're going to feed her and let her eat for a little bit and then we'll come back later and just run her around the aisle away for a little bit just work her a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and get her fed all right let's see get you back on here all right she's all fed so we'll go ahead and keep that same regiment this week and see if we get a uh, consistent gain so hopefully it'll work and uh i'm gonna be changing the feeds up here pretty quick probably about four weeks or so uh, and then we'll get into a higher protein feed so <clears throat> I won't have to add that protein so anyways we're gonna go back down to uh, the homestead and see if we can get our gardens tilled up today um, we got to get the tiller out it's kind of buried in the back of the garage so I'll see you guys down there all right guys we are down here at the farm and we are going to get ready and till up the gardens uh, but i'll give you a peek at these birds and they only get about two and a half weeks three weeks to go so they're getting pretty big turkeys are getting up there like i said next week they're they're going outside so but my agenda for today is to get that the gardens tilled up because I've got to get my plants in there. Um, it seems like the frost has finally went away, I hope. Uh, we're still a week and a half out from Memorial Day weekend. So typically I don't put plants in until then, but I got to see what I can do. If I lose them, I lose them. I don't think I will though. I mean, it, they're calling for 80s next, next week. So let's go ahead and get the old Craftsman five horse fired up and get these uh, gardens tilled up. chicken all right we got this this one all is all tilled up um, later this afternoon I'll probably plant uh, pepper plants and stuff over there uh, some tomatoes over here and then I think I'll do the beans back there if I have enough room because there's quite a bit of uh, I have quite I got three flats of pepper plants so oh let's see that's six one two three four five six so there's uh, 36 plants on each flat. So we'll see if we can get them in there, you know, 18 inches apart, 18, you know, all the way around. So I should have enough room to get them all in there. And uh, also have about 10 foot section to do whatever. Probably put the tomato plants in because peppers and tomatoes go pretty good. So let's get back here at the back uh, garden and get that thing tilled up. I honestly need tiller on a tractor to do this but I don't have it right now so I gotta you know work with what I got so let's go back here and hit that I'll probably have to do it a couple times to get the grass tilled up underneath of it and uh, 
and then later today hopefully we get some uh, planting in um, but I'll probably make that a separate video of actually planting the garden so let's go ahead and get the rest of this stuff tilled up and see where we're at Well, that's about the best I can do with this small tiller because this grass just keeps getting bound up inside of it. So I am definitely gonna have to get uh, my dad's tiller for the tractor. The, the best way to do this is to plow it over. But uh, the plow that I have doesn't fit my tractor. So I could possibly just go get my dad's big tractor and uh, just come over and plow it over real quick. That would solve everything. And I'd just be able to till up good ground instead of all this grass. But it's real heavy right through here. It just kind of goes out around right here. But it just binds up in that tiller. But I will get it. No doubt about it. And I'll do corn down there. And then this will be, oh, whatever. Cucumbers, pumpkins. Any of the vine stuff will be back here. And uh, I hope the... Uh, deer don't get everything i've seen a lot of deer tracks back here so I may have put a deer fence up that'll be somewhat costly and i don't really want to do that but if i have to i will all right guys um i think i'm gonna call her quits for today um my next video will be planning all this stuff uh, i don't know if i'll get to it today or later this week or maybe next weekend um as far as the seeds go but tomorrow or today the end of today i think i'm gonna try to get in some of those plants so That'll be the next video though, but this video I'm going to call it quits for now and I'll see you guys on the next one.